We all knew Alex. He is a good lawyer, and he's well liked. Jesus Christ! That's nice the door, give me two minutes. We've just heard that Alex Galbraith has been shot dead. There's a very good chance that his wife is going to be our next MP. Everybody in the Isles came across him at some point. There was a custody battle. Wife lost her kids due to drug addiction. Linda Morton? They were asking about Alex Galbraith. You better not mention my name in any part of that conversation. Got a wee problem. Local lad, Fraser Cregan. He's been posting about the Galbraith killing online. We've got a Logan Cregan on a register of gun owners. I'm pissed off about Donna Killick. She kills my sister and then she gets to come home and die in her own bed. Mum. What did your husband use the drone for? He was out flying up and down the coast. You really have to take this dive. Got plan B. Well, that's your choice, but you'll regret it. They're bringing them back up. Eman, Shetland please want to talk to you. We're losing pressure. Killick, I'm Dr. Bedford, consultant at Larrick General. This is Nurse Meg Patterson. Welcome back to Shetland. Right, we should get going. There's a problem with Eamon's decompression. Jesus. If that chamber blew, he would have been in so much pain. Kirsty, I know this is hard. Um, I'm going to have to ask you a few questions. Before Eamon left to go to work, how was he? For once, he was in good spirits. Did he say anything before he left? He said he had a plan B. Do you know what he meant by that? I have no idea. You'll find out what happened. I'll do everything I can. Just docked. Uh, this is Connor Mackay. Connor's been appointed by the Industrial Safety Authority to investigate the accident. Obviously, you guys are going to take the lead in this, but Gaudi was a potential witness in a murder investigation, so I'm hoping that you know we could work together. Of course, you'll be the first to see our findings. Yeah, you see, I, I don't really want to sit about and wait to read a report. I want access to the accident scene and all the evidence. First girl will have to clear that. Ah, she already has. Okay. Has the fiscal cleared her? No, that's why I need to call her. Most of the crew's been stood down. Uh, everyone's still in shock. I've lined up a recording of the accident for you to view. At 8.20, Eamon transfers into a separate, unoccupied chamber. 18 minutes after he transferred, there's a massive drop in pressure, a breach of an external valve. I would try to isolate her from in here, but I wouldn't respond. Who was the life support supervisor responsible for the divers? 
me and the Mick Muir Mick's in his cabin, he's not feeling well. I sent Mick out to try and close the external valve manually, but, uh, but he didn't make it in time. What caused the breach? The valve must have came loose, which caused a leak. Why did it come loose? We don't know. We did all the pre-dive checks and everything was secure. Did you do the checks? Mick carried them out. How easy is it to loosen the... What do you mean? Oh, what I mean is, could someone have come in here and loosened it by hand? Well, I, but why would they? Do you think this was deliberate? Gaudi was the closest thing we had to a witness, and he dies minutes before we were due to speak to him. Getting to Galbraith and Shetland is one thing, but how did the killer get on board to kill Gowdy? Could be more than one killer. Whoever killed Galbraith got someone else to kill Gowdy. Somebody who works on the ship. Then we're talking about someone with connections, money, resources. Talk to everybody who had access to the dive chamber, but start with Mick Muir. OK. Nice and easy. <coughs> Uh, any chance of some help? My orders were to escort her to the house. I've done that. Hey! What the hell is wrong with you? The woman has stage four cancer. What do you know about her? I know that she's dying, and she could do with a bit of compassion. That's Donna Killick. She murdered an 18-year-old girl, a friend of mine. And then she let an innocent man spend 20 years in jail for her crime. I've got plenty of compassion, but not for her. Checked all the valves before the dive. Every one of them was secure. So then what caused the breach? I don't know. It's not something that happens. Ever. Maybe the seal broke or the valve malfunctioned. Or maybe someone loosened it manually. Well, it wasn't me. Did Larson tell you it was me? Because you need to know, me and him don't get on. Did you and Gowdy get on? I had no problem with him. What about the rest of the crew? Any of them have issues with him? No, he was pretty well liked. You never saw him arguing with anyone? Uh, the night before he got in the chamber, I heard him giving somebody grief over the phone. He said it was his wife. I never believed him. Why didn't you believe him? I don't know. He just didn't sound like he was talking to his wife. If Eamon had a problem, who would he talk to? Uh, Carrie McAndrew, maybe. She's the chef. Her and Eamon were pally. Right. Kate, it's Sandy. She arrived this morning. I thought you'd want to know. Call me when you can, OK? Have you got on with Donna Killick? I just dropped her off at her house. And how is she? She's fine. She's got a doctor and a nurse running around after her like she's some sort of celebrity. Right. Any luck finding Gaudi's drone? Not yet. But the tech boys reckon it's the SD card we should be looking for and not the drone. The card is where the data is stored, and they may have taken it out before the drone was stolen. OK, we'll talk to Kirsty Gaudi and see if she knows where it is. Oh, Jimmy. Just had a call from the media officer in Inverness. Those Kilmure crime scene photos are causing a big stooshy. Has Donny worked out who posted the original images? Says he's working on it. So, apparently, I authorised access to an accident scene this morning. Thing is, I don't remember doing it. In fact, I don't even remember someone making a request. Well, we tried to call you. Oh, well, at least you tried. I needed to get on that ship. We didn't have time to wait. I'm sorry. Conor Mackay says you think Gowdy was murdered. If Gowdy witnessed Gilbreth's murder, 
then maybe the shooter got to him before he could talk. In the middle of the North Sea? We're working on a theory that the shooter got someone aboard the ship to do it. Which reminds me, Sandy, keep an eye on Linda Morton. I want to know who's been visiting her recently. Sorry, Linda Morton? Linda's ex-husband was a client of Gobraith's. In Gobraith's notes, he accused Linda of associating with drug dealers. Sorry, Billy. I need the details of every recent drug arrest. Dealers linked with mainland gangs. If Galbraith was right, then Linda was mixing with some serious criminals. Galbraith wasn't murdered. He was assassinated. They used an untraceable gun. They used ghost bullets. Now, all of that takes resources and organisation, which is exactly what you want if you're looking to kill a witness at sea. Next time. You wait for an answer. Understood. I already told your colleague I don't know what happened to Alex Galbraith. OK, what about Eamon Gowdy? Who? How long have you had a drug problem for? I was in a car crash. Two years ago. My leg got smashed up, so they put me on painkillers. They're really good ones. Before I knew it, I couldn't get through the day without them. Then I got depressed. And... Instead of asking me if I needed any help, my ex just... used it as an excuse to... dump me and take my voice. Now all I have are the pills. Which brings me to your dealers. I don't have dealers. Alex Gilbraith thought you did. He had evidence. Of course, we don't know what that evidence was because the file was stolen from his house. Yeah, and that was nothing to do with me. Maybe you didn't steal a bam bed that you know who did. I know you're scared, I know. But these friends of yours, they might have done more than just break into a house. So if you give me their names, then I can protect you. I need you to leave. That's for when you change your mind. Flat. We've been through this. No, the police were round again. That guy Perez, and he was asking about... He was asking about the break-in at Galbraith's house. What if he comes back and searches the place? I can't take the blame for this, OK? I'm not going to prison. Jesus, will you calm down? Give me some time to sort another place. Go home, wait for me there. Don't worry, it will be OK. That's every significant drugs arrest in the last six months. Mick Muir. You heard of him? Nah, no, doesn't ring a bell. Who is he? Could be he's the guy who caused Damon Gowdy's supposed accident. Do a background check on him. See if he's linked to anybody that we're looking at in the Galbraith case. OK, sure.
Duncan. Did you tell your dad that you'd take him for lunch today? What? No. Why? What's he saying? That you're taking him for lunch today. At the Scalloway Hotel. At the Scalloway Hotel, no less. No, no, he's confused. Um, put him on. Jimmy, you know how you're bleeding. Dad, I never said that we were going to go out and have lunch today. What? I, 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 um, I never said that we were going to go and have lunch. I'm at work. I can't get away. Dad? It is me. I never said that I was going to take him out. Um, I don't know where he's got that from. Well, right, listen, it's, it's all right. I'll take him for a bite in town somewhere. It'll be grand. You sure? Aye, aye, sure. OK, thanks, Duncan. Everything all right? Fine. What's the problem? The Galbraith timeline you asked for. There's a three-hour window on the day before he was shot that we can't account for. He speak to Fiona Bedford? She has no idea what he was doing either. Seems he dropped off the radar between one and four o'clock. All right, I'll speak to Eve. Drug head. <laughs> Are you serious? This is something we're following up on. Did Alex ever mention anything about drugs to you? No, not that I remember. Should I be worried? Should I, should I be getting meddling out of this house? Your protection officers are here. But I can arrange a safe house if that's what you want. No. No, it was hard enough getting her to come home. If if we leave again, she'll dig her heels in. The guys are here. Can I go out? I'd rather you stayed close. We're just going down to the beach. OK, just keep in touch, Meryn. Uh, just one thing before you go. There was something that I wanted to ask you and your mum. We're having trouble accounting for your dad's whereabouts on the day before he died. Do either of you have any idea where he was during the afternoon? But he wasn't at work. Fiona Bedford says no. Meryn? I was at school. Your dad happened to mention what he was doing that day? He never said anything. I can feel her pulling away. I'm sure she'll talk when she's ready. I'll set up the transfer this afternoon. No, no, that's all right. Listen, I know how hard it is to set up a business. Love to rush you. Is uh, everything all right? You live in Guthrie? Aye. Yeah, I just had to have a quick word with Eve. How does she seem to you? Like somebody who just lost her husband. She needs a distraction, something to take her mind off things. That's why I think she should be back out campaigning. Seem to be throwing a lot of weight behind this campaign. Well, I'm just helping out. Ah, it's more than that. You're funding her. <laughs> Look, I have a lot of faith in Eve. And, you know, I think she can help the islands. And what's in it for you? Chance to make a difference. Most divers are a pain. They think they're better than us. But not Amen. He was a nice guy. Good laugh. When did you last talk to him? He came in here for breakfast just before he went into the chamber. You didn't see him in the chamber? Um, Larson said that the galley staff have access to sack control. I normally take up the evening meal up at six, but Mick came and picked it up last night. Mick Muir? Aye. How was he last night? Seemed fine. 
He's locked himself in his cabin. Well, that may be a good thing. The rumour is Mick caused Eamon's accident. Analog, have you? Well, the police took my desktop away. Yeah, we're still going through it. You do realize this leak of yours is probably an inside job. Really? You know something about it? I'm just saying, even I'm not stupid enough to hack a police computer. Tosh. Mick Muir's been attacked. He's on his way to Lerwick General. What happened? He was assaulted in his cabin. Tosh, how's he doing? He's going into surgery. He's got a couple of fractures in his arm. Do you see who attacked him? He says he didn't see them. Excuse me. Guy Perez, Shetland Police. Oh, Christ. I told you. I was ambushed. I didn't see who did it. But you know why they did it? I had nothing to do with Eamon's death. I did my job, that's all. Your crewmates disagreed. I'm being set up. What do you think? <sighs> I don't know. I can buy him causing it through negligence, but I can't see him killing Gaudi like that. And I can't see a motive. Maybe we just haven't found it yet. We have to link Muir to Galbraith. So find out what connects them. Where does he live? He's got a flat in Bray. I'll speak to Keenan and see if we can get a search warrant. Donnie's got something for us. I went through Fraser's desktop. Oh, there's some right weird stuff on it. I mean, who watches autopsy videos for fun? Donnie. Oh, sorry. Anyway, um, Fraser didn't hack into your database. In fact, as far as I can see, nobody did. You mean an inside job? Yeah, well, that would be my thinking, I. So can we identify who downloaded these internally? They weren't downloaded. No, I think the images sent to the Chronicle were scanned from the originals. I mean, as a piece of subterfuge, it's crude, but it's effective. There's no digital traces whatsoever. Well, doesn't seem very happy. Don't take it personally. Sir. I don't care what Donny says. I don't believe anyone in here would leak to the press. No, me neither. The original crime scene images are stored at the mortuary. Call Cora and tell her the leak might have come from her department and tell her that we're going to need a list of all the people who've got access to the images. Right. So, the search team at the Gowdy House didn't find the SD card for Eamon's drone, but Kirsty says he edited the videos on his breaks thinks he might have taken it to his work with him. So the ISA might have it? I could head over to their lab later on. OK, good. What's the word in Linda Morton? Uh, we got a patrol car outside her flat. She came home about two, alone. No sign of any visitors. OK. I want you over there tonight and see who turns up. I got to go out for an hour. OK. Is everything all right? There's someone I need to talk to. Earlier today, when I asked if you knew where your dad was the day before he died, I uh, got the feeling that you knew more than you were letting on. I know that you and your dad were close. 
and I know that you want to protect him. I don't know what he was, OK? Where do you think he was? Probably with her. And who would that be? Flora. Flora M. Flora M. That was the name that came up on his phone when she rang. And how do you know that she and your dad were...? I noticed things. Things my mum didn't. When she called, you'd get all secretive. We'd go off into another room to talk to her. And afterwards, he'd always have this guilty look on his face. Did this Flora M um, call the day before he died? As we were leaving for school. And you're sure it was her? It was her. We're still going through Galbraith's contacts, but so far we haven't come across a Flora. And if he was having an affair, he probably kept it well hidden. Yeah, especially with Eve running to be an MP, he'd need to be extra careful. Billy, go through Galbraith's phone records again and see if you can find the call that Merrin mentioned. Did anybody get back to you on the eye hunt investigation into Logan Craigan? It seems Craigan and his unit were accused of prisoner abuse in Iraq. Lots of cases, one that involved a fatality. So why were the charges dropped? They weren't, but the government pulled the plug on IHAT in 2017. <sighs> you okay? I've got a lawyer who was shot, I've got a witness who was killed in the most horrific way imaginable. I've got multiple suspects and motives and I've got nothing to connect any of them. And to top it all off, I've got somebody leaking crime scene photos to the press, so no, not really. I meant personally. I know. And thanks for asking, but on that front, I'm fine. Just remember, you've had a tough few days. You need to take it easy. I can't, Tosh. I've got a house call to make to the other problem that I've got. Donna Killick. Hi, I'm D.I. Perez, Shetland Police. Sorry, come in. And again? <coughs> here to welcome me home. I'm just here to see if you've settled in and if there's anything else you need. You got another ten years. I take it you heard about Alex Gobraith. We don't know if his death had anything to do with your trial or your release, but it is possible. And why are you telling me? Well, if he was killed because he got you out of prison, I thought you might feel some kind of responsibility. I feel responsible for a lot of things, but not his death. And I don't appreciate you trying to make me feel that I should. Alex was a good man. That was an awful thing to happen. Darren Bedford, consultant at Athletic General. Bedford. Uh, my wife, Fiona, she was Alex's PA. So I know how hard Alex worked to secure your release, Donna. He did what he did as much for himself as anyone else. He liked to pat himself on the back just a bit too much. A bit like our Jimmy. I'll see you again tomorrow. You know, for a minute, I thought you might be here to apologise. To apologise for what? Lying. At my trial. Well, maybe lying's a bit harsh, but... 
He definitely didn't tell the truth. No, the whole truth. I mean, he told them I killed that girl, but he didn't tell them about my husband, that I was pregnant, that I was just trying to protect my unborn child. I wasn't there to defend you. And the girl's name was Lizzie Comeur. Everything okay? Hi. I was just leaving. Um, sorry. You... you don't remember me, do you? Christmas must have been 2001. You and your drunken pals spent the night in my flat in Deniston. No, I don't think that was me. Burns is the perfect poet, and Jaws the perfect movie. Okay, so maybe that was me. Your drunken pal was Mark Patterson. You and he worked out of Pitt Street when you were in uniform. Mark's my brother. I'm his wee sister. Right. Mark Patterson. And you're Meg. Hi, Denison. Yeah, I remember now. No, no, you don't. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> OK, don't worry. You were pretty drunk. Fun, but drunk. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to take your word for it. Um, and you're nursing. Mm -hmm. Specialising in end-of-life care. Well, that must be tough. Rewarding, too. You aware of Donna's history? I'm not here to make judgments. Right, well, there are people who will. Um, if you get any trouble, then give me a call. My number's in the back. Oh, and you were right, by the way. It is the perfect movie. A nice decor, you see. Yeah. We think Gaudi might have had it with him in the dive chamber. Well, they've just brought his belongings in. They're still in boxes. We've not had a chance to go through them yet. I'm happy to help. No, oh, you're all right. We'll manage. But it could take some time. Oh, it's no problem. I'll just wait over here. Good. Kid, I know it's hard. Look, Donna's not going to be around for long anyway, so... You're getting yourself upset for no reason. No reason? She killed my sister. That's a big reason. I didn't mean it like that. Of course, you have every right to be angry. Angry doesn't even begin to cover it. I know. And I'm sorry this has happened. You don't deserve it. Look, I gotta go.
昼寝夜寝たらマスフフォーレンスリープアムソーリーアバウトデイトデイアバウトマクスアップオーバーランシャーデスカロウェイブッドンケントゥーミトゥーランシーヤスアノダバッビフォーユーソーダアウスゴネウェルジュンドンケンゴーサムウェルンタウン Your mum would have liked it. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. Thanks for looking after him. Ah,、oh, no problem. He was in fine form. You look like you need a drink. Donna's back. You see now? She's up at our house just now. Looks like she's never been away. Well, that'll go down well with Kate and our pals. Billy, Flora M isn't a person, it's a place. The Flora Maris Religious Retreat. It's over in Walsey. I spoke to the ferry master. We confirmed that Gilbraith was over there the day before he died. The hell's Gilbraith doing in a religious retreat? I have no idea. But the ferry master said it was a regular trip for him. Okay. I'm Detective Inspector Jimmy Perez. I'm here investigating the murder of Alex Gilbraith, and I've. Eamon Gowdy's SD card last night. I can see there are video files on it, but they won't open. Took me to. <laughs> yeah, looks like they're corrupted. Can you fix them? Yeah, maybe. I've got some recovery software at the station. Then you need to get over there. <laughs> As soon as you open them, you call me. See you later. See ya. Donnie! I'm good. Must be D.I. Perez. I'm Sister Carolyn. Sister Paula said you were looking into Alex's death. I'm investigating his murder. Still can't believe it happened. You knew him? 
Yes, and no. Should we go for a walk? Alex started visiting about ten months ago. We were selling some land to the farm up the road and he was taking care of the legal side. Well, he just kept on coming back. He'd turn up most weeks for a few hours. We'd drink tea, talk. About anything in particular? His life, mostly. His troubles. So you were his therapist? I tried not to judge. He appreciated that. You know, I hate to have to ask you this, but... Were you and he together? As in sleeping together? Yeah. God, no. What on earth made you think that? Well, because his daughter was convinced that he was having an affair, and she overheard him on the phone to you, so she assumed that... I was a bit on the side. <laughs> Even if I was in a position to be in a relationship, I wouldn't have chosen Alex. Far too many demons. Although, I'd be surprised if there wasn't another woman in his life. You know, don't take this the wrong way, but you don't seem much like a nun. Because <laughs> I'm not. Sister Paula and the others are real nuns. I'm what they call life professed. It means I do the prayer, the solitude, the good deeds. But I sit out in the whole married to Jesus bit. It's quite a view, eh? Yeah, my mum loves it up here. Loved. You lost her recently. I'm sorry. No, don't be. How are you holding up? Uh, I've not really had a chance to think about it. I've got work and my dad to look after. But you have to mourn her. I don't think I want to. I know how long grief takes, and to be honest, I'm... You're what? I begin to understand why Alex Gilbraith came here every week. So you saw him the day before he died. How did he seem to you? His usual troubled self. But not troubled about any one thing in particular. If you're asking if he was worried about being murdered, then no. Galbraith was seeing a nun. No, she's not exactly a nun. She's not his mistress either. Although she did suggest that Galbraith was the type to have another woman. How goes the search at Muir's flat? Nothing yet, but I did find the SD card last night. Donnie's at the station trying to open the files. All right, I'll go and see him now. OK. What the hell's going on here? I didn't realise you lived with Mick. I don't. He lets me crash on the couch when I've got a tight turnaround between jobs. A lot cheaper than a hotel. Well, I called the hospital. They said he was recovering from surgery. Mm. 
They had to reset his arm. Jesus, poor Mac. Do you know who assaulted him? Had to be one of the crew. You don't know which one? They know I'm mates with Mick, so I'm the last person to tell. Mind you, I could easily throttle Mick myself right now. Why? Oh, come on, I mean, it had to have been him that caused Eamon's accident. You're sure it was an accident? What else could it have been? So, if you sleep on the couch here, who sleeps in the guest room? It's Angela's room. Mick's sister. She stayed here for a few months when she broke up with her partner. She's in Goldsby now. There's four video files on the card. Timestamp on the first video is 10.15, the last one is 11.12. Yeah, I want to see the last one. It's a bit of a problem there. So the card must have got corrupted during the dive accident because the files won't open. None of them? I've been running recovery software all morning, but the, uh, these later files are gone. Um, all I could get was a bit of footage from a video time 10.45, but there is something on it. That's Ali school Brain's car. Watch this. So that's all I've managed to get. And it's too bloody to get registration on the other car, but if I do some tweaking... I know whose car that is. That's me, so what? So what? So we've got video footage of you trying to run Alex Gobray's car off the no, road. No, I wasn't trying to it run him off the road. It was shot half an hour before he was killed. So that puts you in the vicinity of the murder scene. Oh, so well, I killed him then. Mum. It's OK. I did something really stupid, I know that, but I was angry. I'd been trying to talk to him for weeks, kept ignoring me. So you rammed his car? No, I wasn't trying to. I... Look, honestly, I don't know what I was trying to do. I just saw red. Why was he ignoring you? <laughs> right, because he didn't want to get in an argument about Donna Kelly. See, if it, was, if it was some lawyer from down south, I would understand. But he was from here. He knew that bringing her back was going to cause pain, but he did it anyway. What happened after this? Nothing. I hit him, I got a fright, I drove on. You didn't follow him to his house? I came home. And I was here when she got back. What time would that be? About 11. So about the same time that you were with Fraser Craig and at his house? Come on, Molly, you can't be in two places at the one time. Now, you were either with Fraser at his house or you were here. Now, which one is it? I was here on my own. Do you think Kate's capable? Six months ago, I'd have said no. But now she just, she seems angry. Her and everyone else in Shetland. The search of Mick Muir's flat, you managed to find anything? Nothing linking him to Galbraith, or Gowdy for that matter. But Carrie McAndrew seems to think Muir caused Gowdy's death. Sorry, who's Carrie McAndrew? She runs the kitchen on the dive ship. What was she doing at Muir's? She stays there between jobs. But she's not the only one who stays there. He's got a bed made up for his sister for when she's home from Goldsby. Goldsby? What's the sister's name? <laughs> Old habits, eh? What? You. Turning up during the day. Sneaking around. Takes you back. Mind you, if it's sex you're after, I'm afraid you might be disappointed. This cancer plays havoc with the libido. Why did you come back? The trouble you caused, the mess you left, that was bad enough, but to come back? I had a choice. I either die in a cell 
or I die at home. And what about everyone else? Fuck everyone else. This was a mistake. You know, you're not so innocent, Duncan. You need to take some responsibility for the mess, too. What are you talking about? It was your son I was trying to protect. I only did what I did to keep Alan safe. And you know what Kevin would have done if he'd found out about him. You are just as much to blame. I didn't kill a girl and leave an innocent man to no, rot no, in prison. No, no, you just did what you always did and played the bloody coward! <laughs> No, I don't even know where he is. Alan, he's in, he's in Glasgow. You're in contact with him? Yeah, no, Cassie keeps in touch. He, to be honest, doesn't want to talk to me. I want to see him. Make him come and see me, Duncan. Well, I don't know if I can. I need to see my son again before I die. Okay, thanks. According to Carrie, Muir's sister's name is Angela. Before moving to Golsby, she lived in Shetland with her partner and son. Her partner was Logan Cregan. Cregan is Muir's brother-in-law. And Muir is Fraser's uncle. So Logan Cregan kills Galbraith Eamon Gowdy sees or films it. Either way, he's a witness. Cregan has to take care of him. Cregan phones Muir to arrange an accident and keep it in the family. The timing would be tight. Could be done, though. OK, hold on a moment here. Yesterday, you were talking about drug gangs and organised crime. Now you're saying it's an ex squad and his brother-in-law? No, yesterday we were looking for a connection between the killings of Galbraith and Gowdy. How could the person who shot Galbraith get to Gaudi on a dive boat. This here is, is that connection. They're related to each other. So what? It doesn't mean there's a conspiracy. You need more proof. Is your dad around? Need to talk to you, Logan. So talk. You want to tell me what this is about? Mick Muir. What about him? When did you last speak to him? Don't know. Six months ago, maybe. Are you sure you haven't been in contact with him more recently? Muir's phone records show that he phoned this house twice the night that Eamon Gowdy died. Who the hell's Eamon Gowdy? He's a diver who died on your brother-in-law's watch. Same guy who was flying a camera drone near Gilbraith's house when he was shot. Well, this is all fascinating stuff. What's it got to do with me? If Eamon Gowdy was a witness to Gilbraith's murder, then that would make him a problem. The murderer would have to get rid of him, except Eamon Gowdy's at sea, so there's no way of getting to him unless he knows somebody on that ship now. Do you see where I'm going with this? <sighs> Jesus. You lot are really drowning, eh? Look, I don't know who this Gowdy is, but if I did want somebody to kill him, I sure as shit wouldn't ask Mick Muir. The man's an idiot. Why did Alex Gilbraith refuse to represent you in that IHAC case? I told you, I don't know. Maybe he thought you were guilty. Well, it doesn't matter what he thought. He still had a duty to defend me. And maybe there were some cases that even Alex Gilbraith couldn't stomach. Maybe the thought of those poor prisoners that you and your pals beat the shit out of repulsed them. I think you'd better leave now. OK. Tosh, call the SPA again. 
I want to find out more about this prisoner who died. to my contact at the SPA. The prisoner, Craigan, was accused of killing wasn't a soldier. It was a civilian, a teenage boy. Apparently, Craigan's unit captured him and took him into the hills, and they beat him to death. Looking for you. Now, where is your friend? I don't know what you mean. Hurry up, get fucking in. No, 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 no. 